Good evening, and welcome to Creative Broadcasting, the station of unlimited possibilities. Presents Creating Your Seat at the Table with your host, Ashley Little, as she welcomes her guest to the table. Welcome to Creating Your Seat at the Table. I am your host, Ashley Little. A little bit about myself, corporate professional by day, entrepreneur by night, two-time best-selling author, speaker, owner and creator of Creative Broadcasting, and co-founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLP. Today we have a special VIP guest by the name of Sonia Keys. A little bit about her. Sonia Keys is an author, inspirational speaker, international podcaster, and consultant. As a wife, mother, mentor, and leader in her community, her passions lie in helping emerging career professional women to turn their passion projects into a thriving business. As a professional in the mortgage industry, she dedicates her time to building strategic relationships with loan officers and clients offering solutions to home ownership. Sonia is the CEO and founder of Walk in Love to Creations, where they specialize in clothing apparel for men, women, and children. As the executive director and host of Inspiring Nations with Sonia Key podcast show, she features women who share their personal stories of how they inspire others every day. Some of her volunteer work in the community involves her work on the board as the vice president of the ACHI Richmond Women's Support and Women's Association and chair of the legislative committee for the PTA at Open High School. As a proud graduate of Strayer University, she earned her Bachelor's of Science degree in accounting and her executive MBA from the Jack Welch Management Institute. She continues to use her gifts to encourage others as well as give back to her alma mater, becoming a member of the Student Advisory and Alumni Board of JWMI and Teacher Assistant for Strayer University. She continues to have a positive impact on the lives she touches every day. For her own children, she teaches this motto, you must see yourself successful before you can ever be successful. Welcome, welcome to the table, Sonia Key. Thank you so much. I am so excited and honored to be on your show today. Awesome. I'm excited and honored and humbled to have you on the show, and I can't wait to hear more about all the great things that you have going on. We, re- I read your amazing bio, so would you yes. tell the listeners more about you? Um, well, as you read, a lot of kind of what I do um, – truly a person who really loves to give back and to serve other people. It is my desire to help women to just really elevate in so many areas of their life while also inspiring a nation of women to stand up and to say yes, because it's time for many of us to take our seats at the table because for so long we have stood in the background. I love it. And she she is definitely uh, practice what she preaches. You know, Sonia, I walked by that, and uh, she's so amazing. So, Sonia, will you please talk to us more about your entrepreneurial journey? I know you're still in corporate America and you're an entrepreneur yes. by night. So would you please yes. talk to us about how it started and where you're at now? Absolutely. Um, it's funny. You know, I never thought I would ever be in the space of becoming my own CEO. And it really stemmed from a corporate layoff that happened back in 2015. And I was working for a bank for over five years and had um, really elevated to a lot of uh, positions within the bank. And I was the type of person that came in late, you know, I mean, came in early and stayed late. And I did everything that was asked of me. And got to the point where when I thought I was going to be promoted, had even received my five-year celebration um, token of appreciation from the bank, the very next day I was laid off. And so in that period of being laid off, um, I was in a position where I had no idea where I was going to go next. And so I had participated in a 40-day fast where I had – really decided that I wanted to um, really get close to God and really find out what the answer was for me. And in my time of prayer and fasting, truly on the 40th day of that fast, 
God gave me the vision, walk in love. I didn't understand it at the time, but he gave me the Bible verse, Ephesians 5, 2. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it was about really demonstrating how you walk in love. And so I took it further that I was going to demonstrate, even in the midst of me being angry and upset, I was going to decide that I was going to, you know, do something for other people. And I wanted to encourage people to just perform one simple random act of kindness and pass it forward. Mm -hmm. And so I started to inspire others on Facebook and social media channels, just kind of sharing messages of hope, inspiration, and faith. And from that inspiration, um, God gave me the vision to start my own clothing line. And so every time I posted an inspirational message, I would uh, end it with hashtag walk in love. And that became the messaging that started our clothing line, walk in love to creations. And so with that, I started to um, wear the T-shirts out in public. And what happened as a result of that, people would see it and would stop me in the street, would stop me in the grocery store, would stop me wherever I was, and would ask me, wow, what does walk in love mean? And that allowed me to kind of share my story. And so that entrepreneur journey began from just starting with an idea that I just wanted to just, you know, be the light in dark places and inspire others. And from that entrepreneur idea of creating my own clothing line, which we do um, have a a full clothing line for men, women, and children, um, from that it it sparked a book project. And from there, I started to be able to be invited to speak and really just share my story of hope, of giving people the hope. And that entrepreneur journey has continued to grow. And I'm amazed at just how far it has carried me. And if I had allowed that corporate layoff back in 2015 to have derailed my dreams, I would have never been in this place. And I realized that that layoff was a blessing. I didn't Uh understand it at the time, but I began to understand as I began to go through my journey that my story needed to be told and other people needed to hear because I started realizing I wasn't the only one who who went through this. And and I started to realize that my story would now touch others and then they too could start their own entrepreneur journey. So that's how it all began for me. I love it. And you're a prime example of embracing the pain, right? Embracing yes. the pain and what God, what, what the devil meant for bad turned around for your good because yes. they all pushed you into your destiny. And if yes, you it would did. have gave up, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be where you are today. So it was absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I love that. So tell us more about walking in love to creation. Tell us more about your business and how we can purchase your apparel. You can actually, um, like we, we sell unisex tees, long sleeve, short sleeve. We even have bling tees for the ladies. And we have an assortment of colors. And you can go actually onto my website, which is Sonia, S O N J A, Keeve, K E E V as in Victor E, dot com. And if you click on shop, you'll see all of the uh, t shirts, and you can actually purchase your t shirt um, today. Awesome. Well, please go support Walking walk in Love to Creations. Please go support her apparel line. Sonya is pretty amazing. I'm just loving the message that it's sending because it's important yes. that we do walk in love every day. Yes. So yes. I would also like to say congratulations, Sonya, on your another new book from Brokenness yes. to Wholeness. So tell yes. us about your new book and how we can purchase and support. Yes, um, I have a brand new book. Um, I am a co-author in my second anthology, and it is called From um, Brokenness to Wholeness. And you can actually um, get your personalized copy by emailing me at skempowersplural at gmail.com. So that's skempowers at gmail.com. And I will personally autograph your copy um, we can talk after the show, and I'll, I'll get your email address, and then I can um, send you and mail you off your own personalized copy. Well, tell us more about your book and what you're discussing in it. Can you tell us a little bit, a yes. little bit about it? Yeah. Well, without giving everything away, my title, my title of uh, my chapter is called Position for a Purpose. And in that ch- chapter, I discuss that corporate layoff 
and I discussed my journey and how I was able to overcome that corporate layoff and all of the wonderful things that happened as a result. Um, because, you know, for many of us, we've ha- we all have had brokenness in our lives, whether it's health challenges, jobs, finances, relationships. We've all had some level of brokenness, but I give you tips and tools and resources of how you can get out of your broken place and elevate to a whole place of wholeness because when we're whole, we're centered, and when we're centered, we can hear from the word of God and we know and get direction of what we need to do for our lives. So I tell everybody that when you believe in the things that you're doing, as long as you have a pulse, you always have a purpose. Yes, I love that. Amazing. Please go support her and get her book because I'm, I'm going to support as well, sign your position for purpose. That is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Can't yes. wait to I read on your story and all the other amazing stories in the book. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. So let's talk about your awesome podcast, Inspiring Nations. Could you talk to yes. our listeners more about that and about your target audience and how they can be a guest on your show? Yes. Um, well, I want to say that we just celebrated our first year, um, yeah. Inspiring Nations with Sonia Keith Podcast. I, I'm so excited. Um, we launched March 10th of 2018, so we just celebrated that first year. And um, Inspiring Nations Podcast show um, really came from my heart. And I wanted to create a platform where I'm targeting pr- primarily uh, women who have stories of inspiration, faith, hope, and love. And so if you have a story that you want to tell on how you inspire others every single day, um, I want you to reach out to me. Uh, my team and I will um, reach out to you so that you can get booked on the show, and you can email us at skempowers at gmail.com. That is an easy touch point to get in touch with me and my team, and we can get you booked on our next episode. But, you know, it is designed um, to really just give women that platform and that voice because so many women um, have these amazing stories out here, but they don't have a platform that welcomes them to share it and and. You know, we launched, like I said, a year ago, and really six months into the journey, we were already hitting international waters. So there are women and men and everyone across this nation who are being inspired by these stories, and they're sharing them. And then the beauty of all of this is it's that it's helping these women who tell their stories to find their purpose and to really elevate to their next best self. And I'm just happy that, you know, I could be used to be able to offer that platform. So we definitely welcome any woman who really wants to um, get their messaging out. I would love to have you on my show. And um, so that's who I'm targeting, primarily women. So I I look forward to having so many more and having continued years of a, a successful show. Yes, and I must say that Sonya's show is pretty amazing. I was honored and humbled to be able to be on her show last year. Yes. So it is super amazing. So please, if you're interested, please reach out to her. If you have a story that needs to be shared, because we all have a story. But yeah, we, absolutely. You never know whose life you're going to save and whose life you're going to change. So yes. Share your story. Yes. And thank you for creating that space for women to be vulnerable, Sonya. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. So let's talk about your podcast program and how, you yes. know, we, you know, listeners can register, purchase, and support. I know you have your podcast program that you just launched, so let's talk about it. Um, because the show has done so well, I've had many women come up to me um, in the circles that I've crossed um, that have always wanted to start a podcast show, but they absolutely have no idea where to begin, how to get it started, because I believe everyone should have one. Um, And I'm teaching um, a class on March the 30th. So if you're in the Richmond, Virginia area, um, from 10 to 12 p.m., I'm actually going to be teaching a live two-hour class and actually walking you through the steps of how to create, develop, and launch your own podcast show within 30 days, Um, because I believe there is power in using podcasting to elevate your business so that you can get the credibility, the visibility, and certainly the profitability. 
Yes, I love that. And thanks for creating that space as well, because what would you tell business owners, uh, what are some strategies you would give to business owners who, who want to do that, who want to add a podcast to their business, but they don't know where to start and they don't, you know, have the tools and resources? What would you, what are some strategies you would give them, Sonia? Um, well, the first thing really is you asking the question, why do you want to start a podcast? What is really the benefits of having a podcast? And the first thing I would share is that when you have and develop your own podcast, think about your potential clients that you are going to get or prospective clients. Because many times, you know, the old school way of cold calling and walking the streets, you know, to get, get clients, you know, I've, I've learned that sometimes you've got to work smarter and not harder. And in the space of social media, podcasting allows you to not only get those potential clients, but it also allows you to um, put yourself at the table to be that um, industry leader because you're going to be educating and also maybe even inspiring um, your audience or potential clients. Um, another thing that podcasting does like I said, instead of having to beat the streets every single day, not that I'm knocking it. I mean, I think still some old school ways are very beneficial, but you can cast the wider net. So for those who are coaches and if you're struggling to get those, you know, clients and maybe you don't have the time to always do sit down and have one on ones with podcasting, you get to reach masses of people, cast the wider net, and everyone's coming and downloading your show because you are now the expert, and they may now want to build a, um, a business relationship with you or even partnerships and collaborations. Um, and I think that is key because, you know, with podcasting, that's one of the reasons how I was able to meet you, Ashley. And yes, so, yes. Um, um, and so then also um, with podcasting, you know, it could really help minimize your marketing budget. So, like, if you're just getting into business, you don't have a lot of dollars to spend right off the bat with advertising and marketing. With podcasting, it's as simple as having a mic and a hosting software. And see, and in my class, I teach you all the, the different benefits of having it, the different hosting softwares you should use. Um, and like I said, I started my, you know, podcast in the very same way right out of my own living room, and now I'm being heard all around the world. And then lastly, with podcasting, it helps you to get in front of industry leaders because when you have a podcast show, think about who's that one guest, industry leader you would love to have on your show. Well, if you interview them, you are now getting in front of that industry leader, and when you do that, people start to pay attention and see the credibility and value that you're bringing to your show, and that turns into revenue dollars, which in business we're here to make a profit. Yes, and everything that Sonya has stated is true. Yes, we did meet Sonya through podcasting. Yes, we did, and created that, that collaboration and partnership. We have, yes. and we do do business together. You, you know, you're um, part of Talk Radio and TV Network as well. So yes. um, podcasting definitely will open some doors for you. For anyone that has, you know, been hesitant to do it, I encourage you all to do a podcast. And like she said, you know, what are you, know what your why is and what, what are you going to get from it as well. So doing your research and, you know, um, reaching out and asking for help if you are stuck and if you don't know where to start. Yes, definitely reach absolutely. out to Sonya. Definitely reach out to her. She um, is amazing, and she's been in the podcasting business for a while. Yes. So what's one key leadership lesson, Sonya, that you have learned along the way? To be true to who you are, be absolutely authentic. Um, it's, it's very easy to try to emulate other people but it comes off as fake and phony. When people mm -hmm. see your true, authentic self, your passion really comes through. Like when I talk about my podcast show, people really re uh, gravitate to that because they see and feel my passion when I talk about my show and talk about my amazing guests. Um, so I would say definitely being authentic um, mm -hmm. has really helped me and has also helped me build my business. Yes, and, you know, passion takes you a long way. If you're not passionate, it's not going to last long anyway, so you want to yeah. find your passion and act on it. You know, yes, that's absolutely. so important. Yes. So 
you have all of these amazing things going on, Sonya, and you're pretty amazing, as I stated before, but we all have a process that we all have to go through to get to the next level. Mm-hmm. So yes. what did failure what did failure teach you? Failure taught me that I can't do it by myself. Um, you really need a support system. You need to I always say you need to find your tribe. And your tribe is those group of people that celebrate you instead of tolerating you. You want to get in circles where if there's a level that you want to get to, then start making those connections and collaborations. Because when I, when I came into this business and I was doing it all by myself, it was hard and it was lonely. But when you get around like-minded people that want to be successful, want to see you successful and vice versa, um, that's what failure taught me, that I can't do it alone. I, I need help and, and be okay to ask for it because you don't have all of the answers. Like my, my um, late father-in-law always used to tell me, you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's some takeaways. From what you just said, Sonia, so true. Find your tribe. It's very important that you put yourself in circles and position yourself. That's so important, positioning yes. yourself with people who are three to ten times ahead of you that are where yes. you want to be. And I yes. love what you said. Be with people who celebrate you and not tolerate you. It's definitely a big difference. Yes, it is. So what did success teach you? Because, you know, failure taught you to find your tribe. But what did success yes. teach you? Success taught me that if you believe it's worth it, then do it. I learned, you know, one of my favorite quotes by Wes Moore um, is, I would rather flirt with failure than to have never found success in my own joy. And one of the things that I learned from that was when I started to really believe in the things that I was doing, I started to elevate it because there are going to be those naysayers. There are going to be people that will say you can't do it, um, you're too old, you, have n- you don't have enough experience. I heard enough of that in corporate America, and I wasn't going to take those same bad habits and thought processes into the thing that I found the greatest joy in. I love my business because I love the connections and I love the creativity and freedom that it gives me. And when I started to, like you said at the top of the show, you know, when you're passionate about something, it will carry you a long way because there are going to be times where it won't always be, you know, great moments. But when you, when you, go, when you start with asking your why, why is it that you want to do this, then even in those times when it gets hard, you'll be, remember, you'll, you'll be reminded of why you're doing this, and it will catapult you forward in it gives you this focus that you need um, and when you do that it just you know the world just opens up and I and I this journey I would not take for granted and I'm so glad that I've been on this journey because of because of that failure it has allowed and opened up so many doors and it also closed the right doors that I kept trying to open and didn't understand that certain doors need to stay closed because when those doors close the right opportunities the right people the right connections will come because you're open and willing to receive what's coming your way. Yes, and that is so important because a lot of people are sitting on their dreams because of what they say. Yes. Because they yep. are going to talk about you when you're doing well, and they are yes. going to talk about you when you're doing when you're not doing good. So yes. way, let them talk, and that I think that's what we have to remember to in, embrace our process and understand that everybody's journey is different, right? And, I, and yeah, and also yeah, and and not only embrace it but trust the process, you know, because. Yes. That there is something when you trust that even when you can't see your way through, stay mm-hmm. on that path because the minute you veer off, that's the very moment you were so close to your breakthrough. Yes, the moment you're trying to give up, yes, because most people, if they give up right there, then you're going to miss your destiny. Right? Yes, you will. Supposed yes. to be uncomfortable, and none of us yes. like to be uncomfortable. And I used to, I used to hate being uncomfortable, but I learned yes. to embrace it. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, it's a painful process, 
but it's necessary. Yes, it is. So, Sonia, what can we expect from you the rest of 2019? You started off 2019 knocking it out, so I'm just um, so excited to see what God is going to birth through you the rest of 2019 and beyond. So what are some things that you have coming up? Um, on April 13th, I will be speaking at the Let It Go Conference hosted by Demetri Bowie here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, I will be one of many speakers, um, so you can get more details on Eventbrite. Um, on April 24th, I will be speaking at a small business conference, um, sharing with the audience about the importance of podcasting and how you can get started. And mm-hmm. May 17th through the 19th, I will be also in Richmond, Virginia, um, for the I Am Women's Conference hosted by uh, the amazing Anika Stewart. And um, there are so many other things further in the year, but, um, you know, with having, you know, at the top of the hour, you mentioned that, you know, I'm a wife and mother, so... um, The whole journey of getting her ready to graduate and get to college. So my household is very, very busy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, awesome. You have some amazing things going on. So please support Sonya and her conferences and her speaking events, her podcasting business, and her new book launches. So super congratulations to you. I'm so excited to see, like I stated, all the other amazing things that you're going to add to this year. And I can't wait to invite you back on the show you know, towards the end of the year to see all the great things that you have birthed. I would love to come back. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, yes. So will you please tell the listening audience how they can follow and contact you and book you and purchase your services? Yes, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Sonia Keys, and that's S-O-N-J-A-K-E-E-V-E. You can go to my website at soniakeys.com. And to book me for future events, you can email at bookings at soniakeith.com. And those are some really easy touch points. And I look forward to connecting with so many of you listening tonight. Awesome. Well, please reach out to Sonia and support her and, you know, you know, get on her show and connect with her. And she says she's open for collaborations and partnerships as well. So definitely reach out and connect with her. Thank you so, so much, Sonia, for taking time out of your very busy schedule to give me the opportunity to interview you tonight. And I'm so excited to see all the great things that are going to uh, manifest through you this year. So thank you, thank, thank- you, thank you. Thank you. It was indeed my pleasure. Thank you. So I would like to give a special thanks to two of my mentors, Tammy Collins Marquis and John Schamberger. I also would like to give a special thanks to Dr. Larry White Sr. and Arthur Kimberly McLemore. And you all may follow me on Facebook at Ashley Little and on Instagram at underscore Ashley A. Little. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Creating Your Seat at the Table, where Ashley speaks with corporate professionals, celebrities, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers who are transitioning or have transitioned to entrepreneurship. 